And breaking news, a Virginia judge has sentenced James Fields. Fields is the man who drove a car through the counter protests at the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville back in 2017, killing Heather Heyer. This morning, he received a life sentence. ABC's Will Reeve is following this story. An avowed white supremacist sentenced to life in prison for hate crimes. In August 2017, Charlottesville, Virginia was consumed by chaos. White nationalists, neo-Nazis and other groups marching against the removal of a Confederate statue, facing off with counter-protesters. At the height of the tension, James Alex Fields plowed his car through a crowd of demonstrators, killing 32-year-old paralegal and activist Heather Heyer. Today's sentence makes clear that the Department of Justice will use the full resources of the federal government to prosecute hate-inspired violence wherever it occurs. Fields pleaded guilty to 29 federal hate crimes in March. In a sentencing memo submitted to the court ahead of today's decision, his lawyers argued the defendant should not spend his entire life in prison because of his age, a traumatic childhood, and a history of mental illness. But a federal judge at the U.S. District Court in Charlottesville sentenced the 22-year-old to the maximum penalty. A United States District Judge this afternoon determined that Mr. Fields deserved to spend the rest of his life in federal prison. That is an acceptable and appropriate outcome in this case. The indictment says while violence erupted across Charlottesville, Fields, who had traveled from Ohio, drove around the city until he found a group of racially and ethnically diverse people chanting and carrying signs promoting equality. He then accelerated his Dodge Charger and drove directly into the crowd, killing higher and injuring others. And that was Will Reeve reporting. Heyer's death in Charlottesville is helping inspire a new bill to fight hate crimes. Virginia Senators Mark Warner and Tim Kaine joined other lawmakers to introduce the No Hate Act. They say since the Charlottesville rally, hate crimes are on the rise across the country. Their bill would improve hate crimes reporting and expand assistance and resources for victims of hate crimes.